We're going to find some other way to find the limit of the function. This thing is called L'Hopital rule. So you see a strange word here. It looks like hospital, but this thing is called L'Hopital. Okay, so it's going to be L'Hopital. So the pronunciation is L'Hopital. And you see an symbol and actually i should i'm gonna say an axon so you're gonna see an axon here it's gonna be the symbol in fix that is gonna be so this guy in english turned out to be os and why that's why we have os for lobby hospital Okay, so in English, we're going to pronounce it hospital, but this one, this mathematician is French, so we're going to call him L'Hopital. Okay, we're going to talk about indeterminate form and L'Hopital. I have mentioned indeterminate form for you. The indeterminate form, we have abbreviation IF. Okay, so this guy is going to be the thing that we not be able to determine the limit yet. The indeterminate form turned out to be too tight that we have been seeing this guy. It's going to be the 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. Okay, so we have seen these two kinds of limit that we not be able to determine the value yet. Okay, so we see zero over zero and infinity, infinity over infinity. The thing that we have done before is going to turn out to be, we going to just simplify the function in order to be able to determine the limit. Okay, so the thing that we are looking for turn out to be just the same question. We like to find the limit of the quotient fx and gx. If you have the numerator convert to zero and the denominator also convert to zero. So this guy will provide you the indeterminate form zero over zero. And if you have this guy convert to infinity and the gx also convert to infinity. So this guy will be the indeterminate form tight infinite over infinite. Okay, so this one will be two type of indeterminate form and indeterminate form turn out to be the form of the limit that we don't know the value yet. We have to simplify the form further. Okay, so now you know two type of indeterminate form, namely zero over zero and infinity over infinity. The L'Hopital rule say that if you have an indeterminate form 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, okay, so it's going to be this two type. So you have an indeterminate form of type 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. Then if you compute the limit of fx over gx when x approach to a, it's going to turn out to be equal to the limit of the derivative of f over derivative of g. So this one you see that the difference turned out to be small. So you see that it's going to be derivative of, uh, not the derivative of, it's going to be the limit of derivative. So the thing that you have here turn out to be fx and you have f prime x here you have gx and here you have g prime x okay and it's going to be limit and you see that this one is lobitan okay so this one is called lobitan and this guy is not quotient rule so you see that it's going to be deep numerator over deep denominator. This one is not the quotient rule. Okay. So we're gonna find the limit of fx over gx by we're gonna just use L'Hopital. So I'm gonna just say that here we use L'Hopital and we'll be able to find the limit 
of the top. Sorry, the limit of the derivative of the top over the derivative of the bottom. Okay, so that the reason that we are using the thing that called L'Hopital rule. So in order to determine the limit here, we're going to have several limits that is going to be from the graph of the function. So if you have limit x go to 0 from the right of 1 over x and limit x go to 0 from the left of 1 over x. So in this case, if you graph this guy, so if I graph this guy, so you have 1 over x, so you have the graph of 1 over x turn out to be the hyperbola like this and like this, okay? So this one is the graph of y equal to 1 over x and you have x go to infinity, x go to infinity, it's going to turn out to be 0. However, if you are talking about x go to 0, okay, so x go to 0, let me have 0. So you see that you have two directions. 0 from the right side, you are going to positive infinity. And when you have 0 to the left side, it's going to be negative infinity in this case. So this is the first one, okay. So that's our formula for 1 over x. Another one will be limit e to the x is going to be positive infinity when x go to infinity. This guy comes from just the limit x go to infinity and it's come from the graph of e to the x. So this one will be your y and it's going to be your x. Okay, so in this case, you get, okay, y equal to e to the x has the graph look like this one that you have y intersect at 0, 1. Okay, so in this case, you see that when you have x go to infinity, it's turned out to be positive infinity. And when x go to negative infinity in this direction, this guy will approach, this, will approach 0. Okay, and the next one is for the log x. So for the log x, the log x turned out to be the inverse of the exponential function. So you would have y and x. And you're going to graph this one. So it's going to be y equal to log x. Okay, it's going to be like this. So for y equal to log x, so the important point turned out to be at 0 and at infinity. So when x going to infinity, it's going to turn out to be positive infinity. And when x go to 0 from the right, it's going to go down to negative infinity. Okay, so this guy going to 0. Okay, so this is what we can see from the graph. And for arc tan x, okay, so for arc tan x, if you recall the graph of arc tan x, it's going to be an s shape graph. So it's going to look like this guy. And you have something like this for the graph of arc 10. Okay, so this one you see two important points, they are pi over 2 and negative pi over 2 and you have limit x go to positive infinity. So this one is positive infinity and this point the other end turned out to be negative infinity. So you see that pi over 2 and y equal to negative pi over 2 give you two horizontal asymptotes, okay? And you have the graph x go to infinity of arc tan x turn out to be pi over 2. And when x go to negative infinity of pi over x is going to be negative pi over 2. 
and we also have limit x go to zero of psi x over x equal to one and limit x go to pi over two from the left of tan x equal to positive infinity this one i used to draw the graph for you when we study the limit uh, the infinite limit so this one will be the limit that we will use to determine indeterminate form for us. The next one that I like to remark before I doing example will be we cannot use L'Hopital rule for the limit that are not in indeterminate form. For example, if you see this limit is going to be limit x go to 2 of x squared plus 2 over 2 x minus 3 so this guy is not equal to the limit of the derivative so when you dip this guy you get 2x when you dip this guy you get 2 so you not be able to just have the limit equal to when take x equal to 2 is going to be 2, right? So this one is not equal to the limit of the derivative because this guy is not 0 over 0. The limit that you are just taking in is going to be limit x go to 2 of x squared plus 2, 2 minus 3x. And this guy turned out to be 6 over 1 and equal to 6. So this one, if you get this one, it's going to be wrong. Okay, this one is not equal to. So for this one, it's going to be correct. Okay, so this one is correct because you can just plug in the limit. Okay. The next one, okay, I'm going to begin doing example with you. So you have limit x go to zero of e to the x minus 1 over x cubed minus 2x. So in this case, you're going to just plug in. So you get e to the 0, 0 cubed minus 2 times 0. So it would give you 0 over 0. So this one is an indeterminate form. Okay, so this one is an indeterminate form. So you're going to find the limit by using L'Hopital. So you're going to have L'Hopital, okay? So you're going to have L'Hopital and L'Hopital that we apply for 0 over 0 in this case. So you would get limit x go to 0 and you're going to dip the top guy over the bottom guy. So in this case, I want you to see what I did first. So the thing that I did turned out to be I'm going to dip the top guy, so I dip the yellow guy. When I dip the yellow guy, I get e to the x. And when I differentiate the bottom guy, so I get 3x squared minus 2. Okay, so this one turned out to be the yellow guy, and this one turned out to be the blue guy. Okay, and in this case, so you see that you allow to just take the limit, so the limit turned out to be e to the 0 over 3 times 0 square minus 2. So it would give you negative 1 half. Okay. So this one is has the limit equal to negative 1 half by using the L'Hopital rule. Another one will be limit x go to 1 of log x over x minus 1. Okay, so it's going to be limit x go to 1 of log x min over x minus 1. And this thing turned out to be log 1. Okay, so you plug in. So it's going to be log 1 over 1 minus 1. So this guy turned out to be 0 over 0. Okay, kind of trivial. So in this case, you're going to use log be done. 0 over 0. Okay, and you're going to get limit x go to 1, and you see that you differentiate the top guy, so you would get 1 over x, and differentiate the bottom guy, you get 1. Okay, so this one is the top, this one is the bottom. Okay, so in this case, you're going to have 1 for your final answer. Okay, so the limit is equal to 1 in this case. 
the next one will be limit x go to infinity up to to the x over x square when you plug x equal to infinity in so it's going to be 2 to the infinity over infinity square and this guy turned out to be infinite over infinite okay so you use log p time here is infinite over infinite okay so you're gonna find the limit x go to infinity and you're gonna differentiate the top function and the bottom function okay so you differentiate 2 to the x so it's gonna be 2 to the x log 2 and you differentiate x square you get 2x so this one let me highlight the yellow one okay and you have the blue one okay and you are taking x go to infinity again so it's going to be 2 to the infinity over 2 times infinity so you still get infinity over infinity okay so you are still in get still getting the uh, infinity over infinity so here we can okay so we can apply lobitan more than one time until we reach the conclusion Okay, so here you still have infinity over infinity. So we not reach the conclusion yet. So in this case, you're gonna use Lobitan one more time. So it's infinite over infinite. So you will get limit x go to infinity and you gonna differentiate the top and the bottom. So you get to differentiate two to the x again. So it's going to give you 2 to the x log 2. So this one is derivative of the circle guy. Okay. And I have to copy log 2 down. Okay. So I have to copy log 2 down. So this one will be the yellow one. And you differentiate 2x. So it's going to be 2. Okay. So it's going to look like this. Okay, and then you are taking x go to infinity. So it's going to be 2 to the x. Okay, so it's going to be 2 to the infinity log 2 square over 2. So it will become infinity over 2. And when you have infinity over 2, it's going to turn out to be infinity. Because infinity is large, so you just multiply by one half, it's not going to change the large number. Okay. The next one, we have limit x go to zero from the right of psi x minus 10x over e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2. So you try to plug in first, it's going to be psi 0 minus 10 0 over e to the 0 e to the negative 0 minus 2. So this guy become 0 over 0. Okay, so this one we can apply Lobitan 0 over 0. We check that it is IF. It would be safer to check whether you have IF because otherwise you just find the limit by plugging in. Not that difficult to do, right? So in this case, going to be limit x go to 0 from the right, okay? And you would differentiate the top guy and the bottom guy separately. So you dip psi, you get 
cos x okay deep tan you get secant square x okay deep e to the x is gonna be e to the x deep e to the negative x so it's gonna be e to the negative x times negative one and differentiate zero you get uh, differentiate two you get zero so this is what you have okay so you see that when you plug in so it's gonna give you cot zero minus six square zero over e to the zero plus e to the zero times minus one and this guy turned out to be zero okay because you have the opposite side here and you have cos zero cos zero will be equal to one and six square zero is going to be also one so you would get zero over zero okay so you would get zero over zero so we gonna again find limit x go to zero from the right side by using lobitan zero over zero okay so in this case you're gonna have to differentiate the cos is gonna be negative side x okay and deep six square is gonna be two six x okay deep six is gonna be so it's gonna be two six x and deep six x Okay, and deep sec x here turned out to be sec x tan x. Okay, and everything on the bottom. So you differentiate e to the x, so it's going to be e to the x. And you differentiate e to the negative x, so it's going to be e to the negative x again times negative 1. Okay, and you see that you have the minus sign from the purple guy here okay so this one you have the minus side okay so in this case you gonna just have limit x go to zero from the right okay and you have negative side zero Sorry, I take the limit so I not have the limit symbol anymore. So it's gonna give me psi zero, okay, minus two six zero and six zero ten zero. Okay. And you're gonna have the bottom. The bottom turned out to be e to the zero plus e to the negative zero okay so in this case the bottom guy turned out to be equal to two so we not have trouble uh, we not have trouble anymore and the top guy size so zero equal to zero ten zero equal to zero again the top guy give you zero the bottom guy give you two so the limit we can reach the conclusion that the limit turned out to be equal to zero. Okay, so for this one, it's not that hard to do. The next one, you have limit x go to zero of arc psi x over x tan x. So when you plug in, you get arc psi zero over zero times ten zero. So you get zero over zero. Okay. So this will be a good candidate to use lobitan. So it is lobitan zero over zero. So this guy is limit x go to zero from the right. And you dip the top guy, so you dip arc psi x, and you dip the bottom guy, which is dip x tan x. And when you dip the bottom guy, you have to know that this guy is product. Okay, so this guy is a product, so you must use the product rule. 
So you dip x side is going to be 1 over square root 1 minus x square. Okay. And you dip x at 10x is going to be the first derivative of the second. Dip 10 is x square plus the second derivative of the first. Okay. So this guy is the yellow guy. And this guy is the pink guy. Okay, so in this case, you're gonna have limit x go to zero from the left, and you plug in everything. So you're gonna just obtain one over square root one minus zero square over zero times six square zero plus 10 zero. So in this case, you would get one over zero. Okay, so you would get one over zero. And then what? Ah, we have one over zero, John. Ah. So when you have one over zero, you're gonna answer two choices. It's gonna turn out to be positive infinity or negative infinity. Okay, so you have one over zero, so you have non-zero over zero, like in this case. So you're going to answer positive infinity or negative infinity. The thing that you need to do is going to be, we need to check the psi. We need to check the psi when x go to zero from the right. Okay, so we need to check the sign when x go to zero from the right. So you learn this one before that. You're going to draw a line like this. And you have zero in the middle. And you have zero on the right. So it's going to be somewhere. Ah, sorry, zero on the left. I, I said it wrong. So zero on the left is going to be somewhere here. So you're going to pick one number here. Okay, so you're going to pick x equal to, so here it's going to be something on the left side of 0, so it's going to be negative 0 0.01. Okay, so you're going to just pick something small but near 0. Okay. So in this case, you pick x equal to 0 0.01 and find this and check the side. Okay, and you check the side. And check the side of. Okay, so and we're going to check the side of uh, arc side. 0 0.01, 0 0.01 negative over 0 0.01 negative, and you have 10 negative 0 0.01. And you see that this guy turned out to be negative 1, not negative. So the side of arc side, so arc side of negative number turned out to be negative. And you have negative 0 0.01 is negative psi, and 10 of negative 0 0.01. So this guy is in what then? 4. So it's going to be 10 negative. So in this case, you have negative over negative times negative. So it's going to turn out to be negative over positive. So it's going to be negative psi. Okay, so the side turn out to be negative side in this case. And we're gonna answer negative infinity for final answer. Okay, so the side turn out to be negative side, so we're gonna answer limit 
x go to zero from the left of x psi x over x tan x turn out to be negative infinity. Okay, so this one is the whole question. Let me. So you see that for this one is a little bit complicated because L'Hopital not give us the limit right away. The L'Hopital give you only the form that is going to be 1 over 0. And 1 over 0, you may have to decide on your own whether you're going to get positive infinity or negative infinity by checking the sign. Okay, so this one will be like a two-step. Okay, so the first step that you use L'Hopital, the second step, you, have still, you still have to do the sign checking. Next one, you have limit x go to zero of x square minus two log cos x, okay? And you have limit x go to zero of x square plus one minus sec two x. So this one, when you plug in x equal to zero, you can check it on your own that you will get zero over zero, okay? And we're going to use L'Hopital here. So it's going to be L'Hopital in the version of 0 over 0, okay, of type 0 over 0. So in this case, you're going to get, uh, let me differentiate the top function over the bottom function. So you have the top function, the bottom function, okay. So in this case, you have limit x go to 0 and you dip so you differentiate the top function you get 2x okay you differentiate log cos so it's going to be 1 over cos x okay and you dip cos you get negative psi x so in this case this guy will be 2x plus 2 tan x Okay, so it's going to be 2x plus 2 tan x. And the bottom one, you get differentiate. It's going to be 2x. Deep one, you get 0. Deep sec, you get sec 2x tan 2x times 2. Okay, so you get sec 2x tan 2x times 2. So you have the bottom and you have the top, okay? So in this case, you would get, uh, you would get 2x minus, uh, let me check better a little bit, uh, 2 sec 2x tan 2x. Okay, so this is what you have. And you see that this guy turned out to be limit x go to zero. You'll be able to multiply the top and the bottom by one half. Okay, so you multiply the top and the bottom by one half. So you end up with x plus 10x over x minus sec 2x tan 2x okay so in this case you're gonna plug in it's gonna be zero over zero okay so you go nowhere basically so this one you still have zero over zero so we're gonna have to apply L'Hopital one more time Okay, so we're going to apply the L'Hopital one more time. So it's going to be limit x go to zero. And you're going to just differentiate. So it's going to be the top guy. It's going to be what? It's going to be 1 plus dip tan x. is going to be sec square x over. Okay, so you get x minus sec 2x tan 2x. So this guy is the pink guy. 
this guy is the pink guy okay and the bottom guy turned out to be deep x you get one and be careful that this guy is product okay so in this case it's going to be deep sec 10 is going to be the first derivative of the second sec 2x okay so it's going to be deep 10 is 6 square so it's going to be 6 square 2x and don't forget to dip inside it's going to be time 2 okay so this guy come from div of 2x okay plus the second derivative of the first right so it's going to be i gonna put parenthesis here first okay so it's going to be plus in the middle the second so it's going to be 10 2x and you have derivative of the first so you're going to dip sec 2x so it's going to be sec 2x 10 2x 10 2 okay so this is the important one basically and you're gonna put parentheses in okay so this is how we have the derivative and then this one is nice because you see that it will give you the bottom guy not equal to zero anymore so in this case you see you plug in x equal to zero so you get this term equal to one sec zero equal to one and this guy will be one square okay sec zero equal to one yeah. and you have ten zero equal to zero so this term will be disappear to zero so finally we will get one plus one square on top over one minus okay so you see that it's gonna be one time one times two in this case and this guy turned out to be two over negative one so it's gonna be negative two for final answer okay so you have the limit equal to negative 2 by using L'Hopital two times in this case okay and you see you have to use the product rule correctly and here you differentiate the function don't forget to dip 2x okay so don't forget to dip 2x by using the chain rule okay so this is the same thing so this one is dip 2x The next one, okay, so you have limit x go to positive infinity of x e to the 2x plus log e to the x square over x square e to the x. So for this one, don't differentiate it right away. You should try to simplify this one first, okay? So you should try to simplify this one first. Don't like a differentiate this guy right away so it's gonna be ah. so you see that you get limit x go to positive infinity and you have x e to the 2x and you get x square so this guy come down so it's gonna be plus x square over x square e to the x okay and you see that this one will give you limit x go to positive infinity and you have x outside e to the 2x plus you have x square so it's going to be x over x square e to the x and you see that you allow to get rid of this guy to be x and you get limit x go to infinity of 
e to the 2x plus x over e to the x. Okay, so for this one, you see that if you use low pitan, okay, so you're gonna dip the top and ah, sorry, the bottom guy turned out to be just uh, the bottom guy turned out to be x e to the x. Sorry, okay. So you see that it's gonna be infinite over infinite, and you have to apply low pitan for infinite over infinite. However, I will teach you another trick here. You see that this limit can be computed as follow. So this one, if you simplify, is gonna be e to the x or e to the two x over x e to the x, okay? Plus x over x e to the x. And e to the 2x and e to the x cancel each other nicely. So you would get e to the x over x plus x and x cancel each other nicely also. So it's going to be 1 over e to the x. Okay, and you have limit x go to infinity. Okay, so in this case, this guy turned out to be going to zero because this guy turned out to go to one over infinity. Okay, it's turned out to be zero. So that limit. Another limit that we can use uh, low bitan is going to be so you're going to have infinite over infinite here. Okay, so you have infinite over infinite. So you're gonna use low pitan, infinite over infinite, okay? So it's gonna turn out to be very simple. So it's gonna be limit x go to infinity of e to the x over one plus zero, okay? So plus zero that we already have the limit. So you get limit x go to infinity of e to the x over 1. So it's going to be e to the infinity plus 0. So it's going to be infinity. Okay. So you see that this one, we did this one because what? We did this one because we try to avoid using the product rule here. So if you use Lobitan right away here, you have to use product rule. If you do this one, we can avoid using the product rule. Okay, so we can avoid using the product rule. And it's gonna make the calculation shorter. Okay, so we can avoid using the product rule and it will help us the, the, the make the calculation shorter. Okay. So let me conclude about the thing that we have been studying so far. So we study about indeterminate form that we have only zero over zero or infinity over infinity, okay? So this one, I will call that they are the basic ones, okay? So they are the basic ones. We're gonna have the more complicated one, okay? So we have the more complicated one. It's gonna be the IF uh, infinity minus infinity or zero time infinity, okay? So these two guys can be studied in the way that it's going to convert to these two basic one. Okay, so this one, I need some more space. So the more complicated one is going to be, so this one is number one, number two, Okay, so for number three and number four, so this guy 
turn out to be the one that we're gonna study next and it's gonna turn out to be converted to zero over zero or infinity over infinity. So basically, low beta will be only two tight. Okay, so this one is low beta. Low beta can be applied for the limit only for two type of in the two types of indeterminate form only. Okay, so the other kind of indeterminate form turn out to use low beta in the way that you must simplify it in terms of zero over zero or infinity over infinity before you can apply low beta loop. Okay, so that will be the next thing that we're going to start in the next video clip.